walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through everything's about to come my way nothing hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here I'm Courtney Lynn and I love to post videos about cleaning organization and home decor all things to motivate you to do the best in your homemaking in your life so in today's video I'm doing a clean and decorate with me for Valentine's Day let's get going guys all right guys, so let's begin by taking a look at our Valentine's Day decor that we have. We don't have an overabundance because we don't necessarily go all out for this holiday. We do like to add some pops of red and some pink and some signs about, you know, love and all that kind of stuff for Valentine's Day, but we do not go overboard like we do for Christmas. So we just do some simple touches to give it a little bit more of a warmer feel for Valentine's Day. So in this video, the Valentine's Day decor ideas that I'll be giving are mainly focused in our living room and in our dining room and also our kitchen. And we have a cute little coffee bar in there that I'll be sharing as well. So today I'm starting with the mantle. I went ahead and dusted that all down with the Swiffer. And then I'm just placing some little signs and some candles and stuff in this little area and some greenery as well. Stop, I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm gonna ride. No, I won't stop. It is my time. All right, so now I'm adding this little heart banner. Um, it's made out of paper and it's just held together by ribbons, but we've used it for the past couple years and it looks really cute. And I'm just using some push pins to attach it to our fireplace. The fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way. So I have these three pieces of this greenery up here and I'm just kind of smushing them together and making them look like they're all one piece of garland. So one thing that I really like when I'm decorating is to have different height variations going on. So I'm using these little cake platters, these little cake stands um, to give me different height and some pops of color in there as well. I won't slow down. I am on my way. Oh, I won't slow down. Mm. So I just put a nail in the wall so I can hang up this cute little Valentine's Day um, little sign here that goes along with the mantle. All right, so in this wall that we have in our living room, we have these two sconces and then this like circle piece of art that we have here in the middle. Um, for the sconces, we're gonna do two candles. They're red and white chevron. So also just a little bit of red to bring in that color that's on the mantle. So for this little um, buffet table, we call it, that our TV is on, we're just going to be putting a table runner down to give it some red and then going to be adding like a little candy bowl and a little arrow that says love on it. But keeping it very simple on this little table because you can't have anything very high or it will get in the way of the TV. But keeping it very simple here. All right, so moving into our dining room area, I'm just gonna be wiping the table down, making sure it is completely clean 
before I bring some decor in here. So I'm just going to be doing a tablescape in here. Instead of setting each place with a complete um, place setting, I'm just going to be doing a tablescape, keeping it very, very simple. And the reason that we keep it simple instead of setting each place is because we use this table at least twice every single day. And it kind of becomes a hassle to move all of the plates and napkins and cups and everything if you're making a fake table setting. So we just do very, very simple here. All right, so for the middle of the table, I'm gonna be putting this beautiful red bowl that we have, and also some candlesticks on both sides of the bowl. Also some smaller candles are gonna go in between the bowl and the candlestick as well. That way we have plenty of candles at our dinner table. And then for a filler for the inside of the bowl, I'm just gonna be using some red and pink flower petals. So now for the hutch that we have here in our dining room, I'm not gonna be adding hardly anything except I'm gonna be pulling out these two little vases that we have. I'm gonna clean them, make sure they're ready to go. And then we bought some little sparkly um, balls from Hobby Lobby that are just kind of more of a vase filler. And I'm gonna be putting some of those in here just to give it some red and white into the hutch. And that will tie into the tablescape. So like I said, we're keeping it very simplistic with the decor, but nice subtle pops of color. So now I'm just gonna be vacuuming this rug that we have in here with our Musu cordless vacuum. Just a quick little vacuum job to make sure all of the crumbs and anything I may have dropped while um, wiping down the table or anything um, is all cleaned up before moving on into the kitchen. So in this video, I wanted to keep a fair balance between cleaning and decorating. So if you guys felt anything like me while videoing this, um, by the time I got into the kitchen, these dishes were kind of daunting to me and I did not want to finish them. I just wanted to snap my fingers and it all be done and just go on to the decorating, the fun part, right? But I ended up taking some time and putting these dishes that were already hand washed, I put them all away and then there were some dishes in the dishwasher that were clean that also needed to be put away. And then the dishes in the sink that I just threw in the dishwasher. And then I'm going to go and wipe down some of the appliances and then wipe down the counters. But I had to get all of this done before I could finish decorating. So I wanted to motivate you guys. If you guys are feeling like this and you gotta clean first, we can do it together, guys. Sometimes strange It still um, turns out the way you think But if you want some Good advice I can offer this small wink You'll find that A little more 
If you guys have Instagram, be sure and follow me over there at Courtney's underscore lens. I would love to connect with you guys there as well as here on YouTube. So make sure that you're subscribed here to my YouTube channel and that we're friends there on Instagram as well. I know I say this a lot on my videos, but I love to, um, when I'm finished with the dishes, I love to wipe down the sink and just clean it up and then dry it off and it looks super nice and sparkly and all nice and clean and it makes the kitchen feel 100% better when that is all finished. So moving on to the other side of the kitchen, I'm just gonna wipe down the microwave, the outside of it, cause there were some fingerprints and smudges on the outside. And then also gonna be moving to the stove top here in a second. And for the stove top today, I'm gonna be doing something different than I've ever done. And I got this idea from following Lauren Yarbo here on YouTube. She's one of my favorite YouTubers to follow, but she likes to clean her glass stove top with dish soap and like a little scrubber. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I've got to say that I really, really liked um, how clean that this method made it feel and look. It looked really, really good after this and it wasn't a lot of harsh chemicals going on the glass stovetop. So once she finishes using um, the dish soap and the little scrubber, she takes some sprayway glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth and it just helps it look super nice and um, like gives it that nice little glossy finish, I guess would be the right word to say. But anyways, if you're not subscribed to Lauren Yarbrough's uh, YouTube channel, I'll go ahead and link her down below because she's one of my favorites and I know she'll be one of yours as well. I'm also going to be using the Sprayway glass cleaner, um, just a little bit of it on our granite countertops to give it a nice little shine on here as well, and it really does the trick.
Okay, so we had a birthday party here a few days ago and we had these leftover red velvet cupcakes and I thought they were perfect for Valentine's Day. So instead of leaving them in this plastic container, I'm gonna be putting them on this very cute glass cake platter and it'll just add a cute little touch to the kitchen and it makes it look like we baked these when we actually just picked them up from the store. But I thought it was cute for the kitchen for Valentine's Day decor. So we keep it very simplistic in the kitchen with the Valentine's Day decor. We put up some towels, a little heart on the pantry, some pink canisters with plants out on the counter. But other than that, we like to keep it very simple so that when we're cooking, it's an easy cleanup and we're not making a mess and having to move all the decor out just to clean up the kitchen. So now for our little coffee bar. We have our coffee pot here, but we also have all of our syrups that we like to put into our teas. So it's kind of a coffee and tea bar, I guess you could call it. But we started decorating this area and we finished recording it and then we ended up adding a whole bunch of other stuff to it. So what you see here on the video, it's gonna look a little bit different um, at the end of this video when I show you the final touches that we added to it. So stay tuned for those. So for the final cleaning here in the kitchen and living room and dining room, I just needed to make sure that the floor was good to go. So I'm using our Musu cordless vacuum again and just doing a quick little vacuum job here on the floor, picking up any crumbs. And then there was like one spot that I saw here in the kitchen that I'm just gonna use a little bit of cleaner and get that off. And then once I finish here in the kitchen, I'm gonna go straight into the living room and do the exact same thing there, vacuuming the carpet in there. And then once I'm finished, I'll show you guys the end results of our Valentine's Day clean and decorate. So I wanted to talk a little bit about our Musu cordless vacuum. Um, for those of you who are wondering why we switched from the Dyson to the Musu, well, we didn't necessarily just, you know, one day decide we were done with the Dyson. After about a year and a half of owning it, it started to die all of the time. Like we couldn't even finish a complete room um, without it dying. And right now we can't even get it to start. So we needed a new vacuum and we definitely wanted a cordless because once you get a cordless, it's hard to go back um, to having to plug it in every five seconds. So we looked up this Musu cordless vacuum that had been brought to our attention and it was a lot um, less expensive than the Dyson. So we felt like, why not? Let's give it a try. And there are things that we really like about it. And then there are things that, you know, it doesn't have compared to the Dyson. And then there's things that it does have that the Dyson doesn't have. So it has its pros and its cons definitely. But for the price that we paid, we really have liked it so far. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. All right, so I'm just going to show you guys. This is the final results of our home. Like I said, we like to keep it very simplistic, but I like the simplistic feel. To me, if it's too many decorations and it feels like it's cluttered, um, I know Christmas feels like that sometimes to me. By the time Christmas is over, I'm ready for it to just be gone uh, because it's a lot everywhere. So we kept it very simplistic like normal and added some really pretty pinks and reds. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you feel motivated and inspired to get your cleaning done and maybe even your Valentine's Day decor. But thanks so much for watching this clean and decorate with me for Valentine's Day, including my Valentine's Day decor ideas. If you guys were motivated, please be sure to hit that thumbs up.
and leave a comment down below if you'd like as well. Please be sure that you're subscribed to my channel. That way we can stay connected and you'll know every time that I post a new video. Thank you guys once again so much for watching and I will see you all on the next video. to be broken and i know what it's like when nothing goes your way.